Welcome to Gallus Coder and Luke, who finally decided to come out of the closet. My C64. Uh, why did you come out of the closet? Well, uh, I heard there was an update of the Ultimate 2 Plus. Uh, but you already have the Ultimate 64 in there, it says here on the badge. Uh, well, I'm still in transition. Oh, that mainboard is still not arrived. No, every time I look, they're sold out. Yeah, I know the feeling. Motherfucker! Tell the people what is in 3.11. Well, in 3.11, Assembly 64 is part of my cartridge. And Assembly 64 is actually the online tool that allows you to download everything from the Commodore 64. So you don't need disks anymore, you don't need to take out your stick and stick your stick into some slot and upload it and then take your stick out and put your stick into the other slot and that is far too much work. This really works. So let me show you after we install it. So you will go to the USB stick. You should have extracted the 3.11 folder and since I have a Ultimate 2 Plus, I need this revision. If you have U64, is that? If you have the standard Ultimate, it's this one. Run update. Yes, please. Yes. Flash runtime. Uh, yes. Okay. Now, I did notice something. Uh, because I ran it before For some reason if I try to load D64 discs uh, That no longer works on my ultimate 2 plus now I haven't used this in quite some time But I also tried it with my Commodore Wonder 28 and that didn't work and with my SX64 that didn't work So it's either this cable whoops or uh, the Ultimate 64. Please turn off your machine. Well, let's do that. We turn it back on. And that looks good. Now let's see if the images are here, ROMs. Yeah. It could also be that this ROM version is dodgy. I don't know, because I updated the flash. This is, by the way, the second time that I uh, ran it. But the cool thing is, if you press F6, you get assembly 64. Let me check if the drive is enabled. Yes. Well, maybe I can switch to a different drive. Maybe that will help. But yeah, uh, assembly 64, new search. For example, Ghostbusters. And since the D64 doesn't work for me, I can use the PRG. So let's do that. Load. And it will actually query over the internet all the stuff that is available that matches your search and that's kind of cool isn't it so uh, let's do the world cracking service a favor and we just run it so it's pushed straight into uh, memory that's the cool thing about these prgs and yeah this one seems to be working awesome and there we go we got the music as well so that is really wicked So let's reset it. Let's uh, try to find something else. Uh, River Raid. Do we have that? And I want it as a PRG because that will actually work in my case. Indiana Jones. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Run. Yeah, that seems to work nicely. So the cool thing is it comes from the internet. You don't need to download and hassle with these sticks anymore. So that is really, really cool. I love this game as a kid. Let's reset it. So that is really cool. That is uh, in the 3.11 release. So that is really, really nice. Now, apparently, there is also an API, Outrun 93, 
Is there... Oh my god, I need to see this. I love Outrun. Ooh. Cool. I don't have a joystick set pushed in, so let me push in my joystick for a second. Probably uh, in the second hole. Or maybe not. Ah, Spacebar. So I got my joystick uh, shoved in there. I've never seen this before. Oh, that looks really nice. And of course it needs to go into the other hole, my joystick. That's always the case. Yeah. Oh, this is a nice port actually. Uh, there we go. Oh, I've never seen this before. It's actually decent for the 64. So the Assembly 64 is a really nice addition, but another great addition for the 3.11 is that apparently now we have a REST API. Now remember when I did the Assembly 64 tutorials, that there was one tutorial that I had a build pipeline that as soon as I committed it to GitHub, it would trigger a build on my little Raspberry Pi and that would actually FTP it into my Ultimate 2+. And then I would need, still need to select it manually. Apparently, you can now actually push them and actually run it immediately. So that makes it even more automatic. So let's have a look at that. So the first thing to check is that your web is running. So you go to the IP address that is given to your uh, Ultimate 64 or Ultimate 2 Plus or Ultimate 2. And then you go to API documentation and here you see all the API calls. And there are some great ones. You can play sit. You can actually uh, send a file and enter the song number or play it from your local repository. It's really cool. I love the fact that I have a lot of sit tunes that I downloaded over the years that I can just stream them and play them on my actual Commodore 64. So that's really nice. But for CI/CD, if you develop software, it is this one that is even nicer. You can actually run a put command and run something that is already on the Ultimate 64. So if we do it like this, so we say uh, curl, that is a uh, command line tool that allows you to mimic web request. Uh, a put request, that is uh, the URL that we saw here colon run prg and then we have a parameter called file so question mark file equals and then usb1 that is the stick on which it is you can see that actually when you select uh, your uh, prg then slash r that's a directory and then retro recipes in my case that's the one that i uh, did for that song yeah and it's loading in the background cool so that is really nice but then, when I clicked through the web interface, I saw something even cooler. Execute PRG or CRT, and you can choose your local file, and then run it. And that is something that is even more convenient because, well, the put is already nice, but you still have to FTP the PRG file onto the Ultimate uh, 2 in that case. Now you can just do this, do a uh, curl, a header, multi-part form data, because of course if you upload a file, it's a, uh, a multi-part form request. You need to run the post, and here I say, uh, well, the file parameter that is uh, my local file, dot retro recipes, and send it to this uh, rest endpoint. And if we do that, we have the same thing working. It will actually upload it to a temp folder on the flash and then run it. That is really, really cool. This to me is, is a godsend. I absolutely adore this. So there you have it. The 3.11 update for the Ultimate 2 Plus and your Ultimate 64 is really a game changer especially with the Assembly 64. And for all you developers who love to do automation like I do, like CICD, then the REST API is also a game changer. You can build it 
on your uh, GitHub Actions or your Azure pipelines. And as soon as you have the PRG file, then you just put it on there and it will run and actually also restart when it's already running. So that makes testing it really, really convenient. You can actually do end-to-end -end testing this way without manual interaction. Really, really awesome. Now the only problem I have is that these 64 files don't work for me, like I showed you. So if anybody knows what it is, it must be the ultimate 2 plus, then please let me know. Uh, my suspect is actually the cable, but yeah, who, who is to tell? At least I tried downgrading it and it still didn't work. So I hope it's not broken because 150 euros is kind of a lot of money for something that I use. Uh, not too frequently, but yeah, at least PRGs work and they boot a lot faster as well. And that's what I build, so these 64 files. Hmm. But I hope you learned something and update to the 3.11. Gideon, Gideon, Gideon is his name. Awesome, thank you, dankjewel. He's Dutch also, lives about 30 kilometers that way. Another great job. And uh, see you in the next one.